Hey there, St. Michael's families and kids. Rachel here, and I wanted to talk to y'all for a minute about rocks. Yeah, rocks. Rocks are awesome. Rocks are pretty cool. But that's not all. See, there's a reason I think rocks are cool. And it goes back to when I go hiking. Anytime I go hiking, I always try and find a clump of like big rocks and boulders that are tucked back in the woods. And I make my way over there and then I find a big one and I sit on it. And then I pull out my journal and I write and I pray. And there's a reason that I like to do that in the clumps of rocks. It's because when I sit there and I look at those rocks and I look at the moss growing over their surfaces, I think about how long those rocks have been sitting there and how long they're gonna keep sitting there after I'm gone. And when I think about that, it makes me think about God because I think about how, how long God has been here and how long God will always be here and that God is that constant presence in our lives. So the timelessness of the rocks, those rock of ages, make me think of God who is our rock of ages. And that's not all that rocks make me think of. See, if we look at our stories in the Bible, we hear stories about people who had encounters with God, whether it was in a dream or whether it was visitors that came to talk to them to give them a word from God, or maybe they were just marking being saved from something like a big flood. But what they would do is they would get rocks and they'd stack them on top of each other and make an altar. And this altar commemorated the place that they had encountered God. We still have altars today. If you see them at church, it's usually that table up at the front of the sanctuary that we have communion on. And so for us, that's the place that marks our encounter with Jesus in worship. But right now we can't go in the sanctuary and we don't get to go in front of our altar. But you know what? Altars can be anywhere. Just like our stories in the Old Testament of people who follow God and built altars in the desert, we can build altars too. And so that's what I thought would be kind of cool for us to all do together. That maybe as a community, we can build an altar that marks this time and the way that God has shown up in our lives, even though we're apart. And that even though we can't go in the sanctuary, we can come and be reminded of God in the midst of us. So to make our altar, what you're gonna do is get a rock and you're gonna paint it with an image or maybe a word that means something to you. And you can talk about this with your family, maybe pray about it, but you're gonna put that picture or that word on your rock and then you're going to come here to the garden at St. Michael's and you're going to put that rock at the foot of this cross. Now you can see there's already some rocks down here. Now these rocks over here I painted some of them and my neighbors painted some too. So they were excited to get to bring their community to your community. So we have set this foundation for our altar and we've got different things on our rocks. Some of them have pictures, like this one with the globe. Some of them have messages, like be still, part of a verse from Psalms. Or maybe they just have a word of encouragement, like this one that says hope. Now, this is our altar, and we're gonna build it together. And I am so excited to see the things that you paint and the pictures that you take when you're placing your rocks. And even though we can't be together, we can see the ways that God is calling us to build new altars outside of the church building that mark for us where God is present in the world. I hope y'all have fun and I can't wait to see this altar and how it turns out.